Hello, hello, hello. We're back, we're back, we're back. I wonder if T's mad that you took her line. She, she'll get it back soon. Did you ask her if you could borrow it? I didn't. She hasn't called me lately. Uh oh. Yeah. She hasn't well, said anything to me about it either, so she must I, be okay with that. I thought about coming up with a new one, but I hadn't done it yet. When Mama G used to come on, she used to say, for sure, for, for sure, sure, for sure. sure. For sure. Yep. But that's Mama G's, so you can't right. use that one. But she wasn't the first one to say it, though. She was number three in line, so, you know. Yeah. So the first line has to be, hello, hello, hello. Right. Whoever says it, so. And, yeah, we're back, we're back, we're back. Yep. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Are you surprised? Some people will be surprised. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm back. I'm back. And I'm good. And thank you to everyone that reached out to me today. You guys are all very, very sweet. Yes, Chapel Holly, we are celebrating Denali. East Coast thrifting. Thank you so much. Thanks, you guys. Shriker, thank you for being here. Christine B. I have to say, if it wasn't for Christine B, I wouldn't be here tonight. She pushed me all day. It's Friday night. You gotta come hang out with your friends. Thank you, Christine B. I'm so happy that I got it together and came. Thank you, my sweets. Donna, because of your love, Denali will always be with you, with us all, never forgotten. You are one brave, strong woman, and I admire you so much. Thank you for sharing your life with us. Thank you, Tammy. It's very sweet. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for saying that. Kind of needed to hear that. Edja Frida, we're always here for you. Denali will always live in our hearts and our souls. Stay strong, Mama. We love you. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Courtney, hello, sweetheart. Sourcing for Bolo Buddies, you guys. Lisa understands my heart. My dearest friend, thank you for being you, for showing me that it's okay to cry and to be angry and sad and all the feelings that, that we as angel moms feel. I love you. I love you too, Lisa. And I'm sorry that you understand how I feel. Thank you, sweetheart. Dora. Hi, Dora. Hello, sweetheart. Frank Perez, thank you for coming in. I have a lump in my throat. Wonder Woman, hello, sweetheart. Delilah, hi, sweetheart. Delilah's Village. My daughter's just learned how to uh, sing that song, Delilah, on the ukulele. You should hear them play it. You should hear Bo singing it. It's so awesome. Yeah, when they team up, they're really good. They're like they're really, yeah, it's unbelievable how they're teaching themselves how to. Hey, Wonder Woman. Hi, Wendy. Thanks for being here. Hey, May. Happy Angel Versary. Prayers and hugs for you today and always. You're a terrific mom and inspiration to our. You guys are great. Thank you so much for saying all those kind things. Pat D's. Hello, hello. Back from home from help and tea. Pat D's helped a lot. <clears throat> Rim. Hello, Donna. Everyone just stopped to say hi. I was out still out picking up storage unit in Broward. Got to go back tomorrow. I don't know why I gave myself so much work. Well, congratulations for buying a storage unit. I haven't done that for a while. I haven't needed to. When I get home, I'll come back on. Awesome, honey. I remember it being a lot of work, though. It is a lot of work. Hey, Nance P. Hello, Heidi. Hi, sweetheart. Thanks for coming in. Oh, I see a super chat. Who sent me a super chat? It must be way down here because I don't see it. It's Mr. Patties. Oh, Patties. Sorry I missed the show last night. I was watching replay while doing work. And it was sad and angry, but never let anyone darken your spirit. You have many people that love and support you, including me. Thank you, Patrick. Casual Flipper, welcome in. Mr. Kalbach, beer, beer, beer. Have one on me, my friend. Have one on me. 
Late bloomers. Hello, hello, and howdy. Junebug. Oh, Bobby. Hello, sweetheart. Shell UK. Susan. Thank you, guys. Robin. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Sexton. Hey, Sexton. I want to laugh with you. Sexton makes me laugh. Yeah, I was missing her last night at Lava Lamp. I don't think she got the notice that it was on. Hi, Harley Kitten. Hi, sweetheart. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Hi, Jill. Oh, thanks, Jill. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So I just... Um, Um, if I missed anybody, I'm sorry. Holly, you, you're going to catch that bear on fire back there. What's that? Uh, your candle. Oh, it's oh, Holly. It's, it's going to catch the bear on fire. No, it's very far away. Very far away from everything. Hi, Nikki D. Welcome in. Hello, Amber. Ooh, uh, crochet. Hello, thank you, thank you for stopping in. Back from outer space. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you for being here. Robin, you are a brave woman, Donna. My heart is with you, and I want you to know that. Thank you. Thank you. Carrie, thank you for coming in. Hello, Amy, thank you for coming in. Mimi, hello, Denise, thank you. Got to go pack up my sales for the day. I already have labels printed and everything staged. We'll be back in 10, 15 minutes. Don't sell Pokemon or comics until I'm back. Okay, Carl. <laughs> you got it, sweetheart. Hello, Kimberly. You hear that? That's thunder. Wow. Nothing like a good thunder and lightning storm. Unless you're trying to stream on YouTube. I hope you don't lose power. Hello, everyone, and Donna sending love, hugs, comfort, and gratitude. You're in my life now. Thank you, Facebook user. Come on over to YouTube. We don't know who you are. Hello, Judith. Mr. Nose Picking is here. There you are, if you wish. It does help to talk, and you apparently have a lot of people that wish to support you, as I do. Be strong and stand proud. Thank you, Nose. I'm so sorry. I feel like it was my fault for what happened. It was not my intention to provoke a troll, but only to let you know that there is someone else out there that you can talk to. Oh my gosh, no way, nose picking. Don't you even feel that way for a second? Not for a second, sweetheart. Absolutely not. Mama G, there you are. Hello, Mama G. So Jojo, second hand, second chance drifter. Hello, sweetheart. Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Heather Blackwell. Carl, those are the words that Christine said to me almost word for word, almost word for word. Hey, Cherie. Thank you so much. Oh, Treasure Hustlers, 1111, thank you so much. You're so thoughtful. Thank you, sweetheart. I don't know if it's Sarah or Jackie, but they're, they're one. So thank you both. <laughs> hey, Cindy. John is sending love, hugs, and comfort, and gratitude that I, I now have you and all of the wonderful people on this channel in my life. It was me, the one on YouTube. Oh, Cindy, thank you for coming over, honey. Thank you. So, so you guys, so I had a thought. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to do it. And if I do do it, it's going to be really, really hard. But I'm going to sell some items. 
And I really kind of wanted to have a tribute to Denali today. Today's nine years. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you so much for doing that. Appreciate it. So, Mr. Turtle Trader, hello, sweetheart. Thank you for coming in. So I thought about doing this, and I thought about doing it before the selling event, but then I thought, you know what, I think I'll wait until the end just so that people that want to be here just to buy stuff can just be here to buy stuff. And then if somebody, if people want to stay for what I kind of want to do, but I don't know if I have enough courage to do it, but I want to do it. Did you guys watch my, did some of you watch my thrift show, my thrift shop um, photo montage with a voiceover that I did of all the pictures that I had that I, I used to have a Facebook page for my shop. And that's how I have so many pictures of the shop. Anyways, I also have a Facebook page for Denali. And um, you may have heard me talk about this before. It's a big Facebook page. It's really big. Um, it used to be like 9,000 people, but a lot of people have left. I think there's like 6,000 people on it now. And it was a place where I would go and um, let my friends, my family in, in Italy, um, my friends all over the country know like where we were. Were we in Miami? Were we in New York? Were, were we in Palm Beach undergoing treatment and give everybody an update? It was a place where I would give, it was kind of like a journal. It was like a diary. It was where I would write my thoughts and what we were about to. So it's, so I was thinking about doing the same kind of idea that I did with the shop with um, for a tribute for Denali. Anybody who makes videos knows how difficult it is to make a, a video. So I started saving the pictures and then you have to save them and you have to upload them and then you have to do a voiceover and then you've got to um, compile it and then you've got to post it. It's a lot of work. So I was thinking that um, tonight after we get done selling, if I have the energy and I don't even know if I'll make it through the whole thing. Um, it's, it's my life story. It's, um, it's kind of sad. So people that don't want to watch sad stuff, I get that you might want to leave because, um, it's a lot of kind of graphic pictures of him receiving treatment. And, um, so I, what I thought I would do is I thought I would do a screen share and go to the Facebook page and read my words as you see them on the screen and the pictures that went with the words. Um, so anyways, it's an idea. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. We'll see, we'll see how, we'll see how long I last. We'll see if I if I decide to do it because honestly, I, I really wasn't gonna come on tonight. Um, I love my Friday nights with you guys and I wanted to share my Friday night with you. I wanted to be here even after what happened last night. Um, so, and I appreciate all of you coming in and sharing your Friday night with me. And um, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, we'll decide. We'll decide. I'll decide um, whether it's something that um, I want to do. Why don't you guys give me an idea in the chat whether or not that's something that you think I should do or shouldn't do. Put a one in the chat if you think that's something I should do and you would stay to watch. Put a two on the chat if you think that I shouldn't do it and you wouldn't watch. Just curious. Hi, Misty. Hi, honey. I'm gonna go get some more water. I didn't drink enough water today and I'm very parched. Am I getting ones? Only ones, no twos. Really? Hi, Mary. You guys would watch it? Frank, you'd watch it? 
Hey, Melissa. That's very heartwarming. Hey, Valerie. Wow, look at all the ones, Striker. I can't do it, Donna. Yes, you can, Susan. If I can do it, you can do it. You can do it, Susan. One, but I'm going through my own family crisis right now, so couldn't watch my heart would break in half. I'm sorry, Heather. I know you are, and I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Hi, Mary. Maybe that's what I said to Schreiker. Didn't I say that? Didn't see what Nose Picking is saying? He said maybe do a separate video all together. Yeah, a separate stream all together. That's probably what I might do. And then those who choose to come back can come back. Um, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. Donna, if you feel the need to do that for yourself to heal your heart, then go for it. My heart will never heal. Back from outer space says, I can't. Too sad. Sorry. Miss Donna, thinking of you today and supporting you. You do you and heal your own way. La Familia is here for you. Thank you, Crafty Hen House. You're so sweet. Mr. Turtle Trader, thank you so much. Donna, you do what makes you feel comfortable and happy. It's your healing we care about. Thank you. I'll be here. Whatever you want. Donna, I'd do anything that you wanted as long as it brings you peace and joy. Thank you, Lisa. You guys are so sweet. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see. We'll see if we can handle it. We'll see if we can do it. I'm probably going to do some small lots tonight. I don't know if I'm going to do some big, big lots, but we'll see. Hey, Beetle Gal. Right, Christine? What's your other half, honey? I want to be your sister, too. I want to be Christine B. and Crafty Henhouse's sister. Crafty Henhouse is Christine B.'s sister. That's who she left and went to go see after she left the cottage. All right. To spend time with her. And they went and they had a lot of fun without me. And they left me here at the cottage working. Hopefully next time they'll invite me. Not that I probably could go, but I could try. <laughs> I could try. So, um... So I have this little tiny lot. I probably should combine it with something else, but I thought that these were so cool and they wouldn't cost much to ship out. So I think I'll just start them at $10. And if somebody buys them, I mean, it'll be like $3 to ship out. Um, if it doesn't, you know, it will be $3 to ship out. All right, I'm gonna start showing this. We are talking you. Oh, were you? You are already. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. Hey, Froggy. I was asking for you the other night. I haven't seen you. It's too difficult for me, Donna. I'm sorry. I'm dealing with enough with today being my estranged daughter's birthday and we... And she sent the gift I sent to her back. Oh, Christine, I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. D. Hewitt, they're, they're doing okay. Um, Chessie has come down with a cold and her ears hurt. So I might have to take her to the walk-in clinic tomorrow have them look at her ears, make sure she doesn't have an ear infection. Angelina's away for the weekend and her ears hurt. She's not feeling well. Lola's not feeling well. <laughs> Massimo is fine and my husband is fine. And I saw Boston today and Boston's great. He's great. He's so beautiful. As soon as the place is a little bit more organized, I'm gonna bring him here and have them stay. 
I know it is, it is, Christine. It's horrible. I'm sorry. We all have our own personal struggles, right? I have an estranged brother and my elder parents are so heartbroken. Oh, beetle gal, I'm sorry. James, Cisco, where have you been? Late. Thank you for coming. Okay. So I guess I, I might just put myself on the screen and just show you guys what I have. They, um, I believe they're vintage. They say nothing in the back. They don't look like they're new to me, but they're these tiny little free card and squeezy. Do you know what that is, Shriker? I don't know. They're I've like, never seen something like that. They're like little, I guess uh, Mr. Buys a Lot would call them like little pinups. I'll show you how many I have and then I'll show them all to you. We'll just start this at $10, okay, you guys? That's how many I have and I'll show them all to you. Should I show them on this camera? I wonder if it would be better. Whoops. Let's see. You might get a better closer up picture. You turn it on. Yeah, that's good. Hold them up close like that. This is what they say on them. Let's see. Earl. Can you read that? Let me, look. Let me get my eyeball. It's Earl Moran. M-O-R-A-N. Earl Moran, copyright B and B. If you want to look them up to see what they are. Okay, so there's one. No, they don't have anything on the back. This one is two. I don't even understand the sayings. And does her head look really big and her body really small? <laughs> they, they may have edited a small amount. Oh my God. It doesn't look normal. Never too young to yearn. What? <laughs> what is that all about? What does that mean? Does her head look really big too? <laughs> no, that one's fairly normal. Good from any angle? These are a little risque. <laughs> they certainly are. Or is my mind in the gutter right now? <laughs> I don't know. One for the money. What does that have to do with bathing suit? <laughs> nice to hook you up. Yeah. Definitely, definitely a lot for Brian. They're, they're definitely, uh, they're definitely risque. Stop, look, and kiss them. This one looks like it has some ink on it. A little, little bit of damage on that one. Yeah, they are fresh, aren't they? I know, Donna's looking to get bolo busted. Courtney, I seriously had no idea. I just thought that they were really cool. What's this one? Shall I display my ability? 
All right, folks. I think we're changing this to an X-rated show. <laughs> Sheer nonsense. Are the backs uh, playing on all of them? Hey, John. Dad's vintage garage. <laughs> Charger Hustlers is like, yeah, there's nothing on the back. There's just, you know, some of them have like a little ink or something, but Blue Monday. I think their head, I think their heads don't look proportioned to their bodies. All right, close your eyes. Look at Treasure Hustlers. <laughs> Ooh la la, Bobby says. Close your eyes for those of you. Is is Bolo still here? Because this one's really risque. Beachcomber. She's just butt old naked. We'll just tuck her in there in case Bolo Buddy comes in. Hey, Gumpa Bell. Welcome in. May says uh, Earl Moran was Marilyn Monroe's first photographer. Oh, really? Soft shoulders. I mean, they're really pretty, right? I mean, they're they're very different. Arcade motoscope cards. Cool. Oh, so look at Carl knows what they are. Back to nature. So they they were cards that you got at arcades. Is that what he's saying? Uh oh, <laughs> this one's a pair of peaches. I have no idea. It's definitely a Mr. Buys a Lot lot. Up to par. That's kind of awesome. The open house season. That's got a little stain on it, unfortunately. What year are these, you guys? Look at these people coming in $50. And here I am thinking, oh, we'll just sell them for 10 <laughs> I don't even know what I have. Can someone text me when you get back to the family part of the show? <laughs> Sorry, Susan. Yes, my dialing daughter. What year are these, you guys? Someone tell me. They're saying the 40s. Oh, you're kidding. Really? Free and squeezy? All right. And there you have it. So there's um, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20. There's 20 of them. <clears throat> Dad's is in 65. Unfortunately, they don't exist, Jenny. Oh, she's talking about something else. John is mm -hmm. loving them. Jenny was asking, why aren't there men cards? Oh. And why is, the, why is uh, Jackie saying other purposes? I don't know about that one. <laughs> Dad is in at 65. Thank you, John.
Oh, because I missed the comment, James says. What did James say? They are made for servicemen in World War II and other purposes. Oh, but from arcades? Because Carl said they were arcade cards or something. Sold, sold, sold. $65 to John. Thank you, John. I think this is the first time you've won. Congratulations. And Carl comes in just a hair late. Who did? Carl. Oh, gosh. I don't even see his bed. Right underneath the sold. Carl wants them for a hundred. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Okay. Awesome, John. Thank you. All right. So this is my next lot. I think I'll do these in two lots and this will probably, let's start this at $15. Um, I'll put one on to show you what I have. 1940s art pin up a cheesecake arcade exhibit cards. Cool. Okay, this is what I have, and I'll count and tell you how many I have in the back. They're safety glasses. They're brand new safety glasses. And I'll show you how many I have. I guess you could do them for reselling. Um, it's kind of a big lot to use for personal use, but okay. These I'm keeping for myself for the cottage. Let's see how many I've got. I've got one. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, and 22. There's 22 of them in, in that lot. And I have to say they're pretty decent quality. Moni's at 15. There wasn't any uh, brand names or anything on there, right? There's, um, there's a style number. There's a style number. We'll have to do the research on it. It's E-N... 166 A M S I and then Z 87 1. Um, and they've got the vents on the side, and I do have to say they're they're pretty good quality. Anyone else interested? If not, we'll give them to Moni for 15. Oh, Carl comes in at 35. Thanks, Carl. KK asked if you got the shirt yet. No, and you know what? I was at the house today, and I mean, I looked around. The house was so clean, I would have seen a package. Um, 
I'll have to ask Chessie tomorrow. Maybe they stuck it in the in the laundry room. If the the package came, but usually any packages that come end up on the dining room table, and there was nothing. I didn't go into the I didn't go into the laundry room, and I didn't go into the garage. So, hey Joy. She says, sorry, I'm late. I gotta get more water. Oh my gosh, why am I so parched? Twenty-two in the lot. Moni's at thirty-seven. Good night, KK. Thanks for coming in, honey. I hope you have a pleasant evening. Hey, Cricket. Thanks for coming in. Carl comes in at forty. Moni comes in at forty-two. Here, I'll show them to you again. They're really nice ones, I have to say, and they're very, very comfortable. And you know I know I wear. <laughs> they're nice quality. And they really cover a lot. So, yeah. Carl's at 50. Thank you, Carl. Hey, Katie, and thank you, sweetheart. Moni is out. All right. We're going to go once, go on twice. Um, and Carl is going to buy them for 50 the safety glasses and fair warning Okay, and we're sold. And Carl, you get first choice. I can do enough to fill one more order. Do you want to double your order? If not, we can offer it to Moni. Hmm. No, but that's what my husband was, you know, Joanne. He was a career welder. That's what he did. He owned a big welding shop up in this. Massachusetts for many, many years. And there I go again, sharing personal information. He always tells me not to, because then somebody's going to come back at me with some sort of welding comment. I'm so gun shy, you guys. Okay, Moni, do you want the other order, honey? Sandra, I am. I'm a little bit gun shy right now. Moni, let us know.
What happened to Moni? Maybe she got a call or something. If we see her, come back in the chat. We'll ask her. Thanks, Katie Ann. Thank you so much for thinking of me. It was a tough day. It is every June 11th, no matter what. Hey, searching for treasures. But thank you, Katie Ann. And thank you, everyone, for reaching out to me. And I felt very loved today. I did. I appreciate all the messages. You guys are phenomenal. Okay. That's what I have. A jewelry jar. Yes, ma'am. Oop, Shriker just fell out. I'll watch for him to see if he comes back in. He was having bad weather. I do, Cindy. I do. Chezzy actually was playing with a stuffed animals all day. Was it yesterday, you guys? Got my days yesterday and the day before. Okay. East Coast fit thrifting comes in at 50. So um, everything in here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. East Coast thrifting. Hold on. Hold on. I get a look. I can't remember. Let me see if this is a, oh, it is. This is not a jewelry jar. I'm sorry. So you can retract if you want. Um, this is a crafter's lot. I know that because of this piece here. Um, everything's tangled, but um, it's a treasure hunt in here. And I did put silver in here because I wanted to put some silver in here to make sure that you guys got a great value. And, um, but like this one isn't, um, this is a pen. So I guess it's a mix, you guys. I guess, I guess it's a mix of stuff. And this is, this is all to make, this is all to make necklaces. And there's some rings in here. This looks like some sort of quartz ring. That's so pretty. Actually, it's beautiful. Okay, so it's um, it's a mix of we'll call it a crafters crafters jar. So, it's a tre it's a treasure hunt. Up, oh, Shriker's back. Did you fall out? The the storm is getting very loud, and we lost power for a second there. You did? Yeah, we'll probably do it again. Oh boy. Okay, this is a crafters jar. Where are you at, Schreiker? Middle of the country, Kansas. In Kansas. Isn't that where um, Dorothy lived? Well, she did, yes. Do you get um, tornadoes? Yeah, we're right in the middle of Tornado Alley, although I think the last few years it's kind of been moving more south. We don't get nearly as many as we used to. Have you, like, seen them? Oh, yes. They're, they're very common. And you've seen like destruction from them? Yes, some of the smaller towns, outlaying areas get decimated. Do you have like an underground shelter thing that you run to? Well, I have a basement, but we're in the middle of the city and we, we're, we're really not in any danger from tornadoes. They, they kind of go around the outside of big towns, you know, big cities. They kind of go to like the farm areas. Yeah, yeah, they hit the outskirts pretty heavy though. Why? Why do you suppose? Oh, no, I, I've never heard a, a good explanation for it, but, you know, maybe it's the heat coming from the city or who knows, really. Huh. But generally, they just avoid the, you know, the center of town, so. Hi, Pammy. Welcome in. So is, um, so is, so is your city like a city city? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's half a million. Buildings? Yeah, half a million people. Big buildings and like big city. Yeah. Yep. Like the size of, like, what city would you compare it to? Mm. Have you ever been to Boston? No, it's it's not going to be that large. Like half of Boston, maybe, or half a million people. I don't know how many people's in Boston. A couple million. I don't know. 
<laughs> what the scarecrow and the tin men are, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's start this again. So this is half half crafters lot, half jewelry lot. It's a mishmash, you guys. It's a mishmash of stuff because um, just a couple of pieces that I pulled out were good pieces, but I'll show you what's in it. There's a little angel. Well, are we starting at 25? Yeah, we can start it at 25. Okay. There's a Betty Boop watch. I don't know if this is a crafter's lot or if this is a good lot. Isn't that terrible? I think it's a crafter's lot. My God, I was doing so much. But the few things, yeah, because it's got the baggie in it. I would never put a baggie in a lot that wasn't, um, that was like all good jewelry. And you see the loose pieces in there? Yeah. Okay, let's call it a crafter's lot. You see Gumpa Bill is finally registered. Gumpa Bell? Yeah. Awesome. Welcome in, Gumpa Bell. I hope tea is pulled over. They got a really late start today. And then they hit a ton of traffic, like going through the Bronx. And um, I told her to drive until like 9, 9.30 and get a hotel room. And then she'd have like six hours left tomorrow. Okay. I think, oh, Joanne came in at 80. Sorry. Sandra's out. Oh, you're finally home, Rim. Thank goodness. Did you find anything good in the um, storage unit? Tell us what you found. All right, we're supposed to get that storm after Schreiker. Oh, it's coming your way. Let's see, East Coast was out at 75, and then who else came in? I only see East Coast. Oh, Joanne. Uh, Sandra, but she went out. No, nope. Joanne Young is at 80. Yeah, she's hot good right now. No, this is all I have for tonight, honey. Okay. This is the jar. Hi, Nancy. You can't stand storms. I hated storms when I was a little girl, but now I love them. I love watching them. I mean, I don't like the big storms that we get, like the, the hurricanes that we get down here. And someone told me, oh, it was T. She said, because I still don't have insurance on the cottage, you guys. And she was like, you better get that insurance on the cottage because there's two storms brewing out in the ocean. Did anybody else hear that? Rim, have you heard that? That there's two storms brewing out in the ocean? Because I don't, I never watch the news. I get my, my information 
from uh, either Facebook or from you guys. So I don't even know. Congratulations, Joanne. No hurricanes currently. Thanks, James. I don't know what T was saying. I know, right? Nickels to dimes? Me too. I love storms too, just not destructive ones. You're absolutely right. Okay, you guys, I haven't found my scale. Um, since we moved, my scale and my ring sizer are together, but this is sterling and it's pretty heavy. Um, I can't give you the grams though on it. That's the only thing. So I apologize for that, but this is how it's worn and it's Barbara and it's all sterling silver. The whole thing is sterling. And I'm going to start this at 25, $25 on the sterling. Let's see. No, I'll just hold it. It says Barbara on it. And that's how it's worn. It's really cool, right? Treasure Hustlers comes in at 50. Treasure Hustlers loves it. I think it is so cool, especially if you have a Barbara in your life. It's so beautiful. It is a very unique piece. It's very, very beautiful. And it's literally like not a scratch on it it's like brand spanking new never worn thanks james yeah it's really awesome look at the way it sparkles <laughs> you see it's sparkling it's like when the light hits it just right let's see if i can get it to do it. there it is Ooh, look at that you guys Oh, if there's anybody that doesn't like flash in the uh, in the audience that's going to bother their eyes, so sorry. That thing looks like it weighs a lot. Yeah, it's really. I wish I had. I wish I had my scale. It's it's a nice piece. It's heavy. It's a heavy piece. It's beautiful. It is. It's a beautiful piece. It's okay. It's, yeah, it weighs, it weighs a good amount. Carl, I'm sorry. I can't even like tell you how much it weighs. I have my, um, I have my scale in my shipping room. I don't know if it does grams though. Should I go look? It should be grams. Okay. Let me go see if I can change it to grams and see if I can weigh it for you. Kilograms, pounds, and ounces is all it gives me. I, it's, a, it's a big, it's a really big kind of postal scale. <clears throat> Did it register on the ounces? Oh, I didn't know who wouldn't register as an ounce. No, it would not be an ounce for sure. You don't think that weighs an ounce? This looks, looks heavy. All right, I'll go check. I didn't think of putting it on. Let's see. No, it didn't register. So it's less than an ounce. Are the letters also 
silver or just the chain? Yes, the whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing is silver. If the letters are over 925, then it's over an ounce. It's not, Carl. It's, I mean, it could be my scale, but here, let me just, I know you trust me if I say they're 925, but I'll just show you. She needs a Miami Vice. Uh, they looked a lot thicker from a distance. Now that you hold them up close, they're pretty thin. Yeah, I mean, they're not like super thick, but they're definitely have some weight to them. You see it right there? Yeah, each one is marked. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they're not, they're not super, super thin, but they're they're good size yeah they just look really thick from the way you're holding it the first time but yeah that's that's plenty if they're if they're all sterling yes they are they are sour they're all they're every letter is marked every single letter is marked in the chain is marked Weight is only important for scrapping. Good point, Marilyn. You're absolutely right. Because sometimes you can have a piece that's got intricate, very beautiful work on it, and it may not weigh anything, but you wouldn't want to scrap it because there's a lot of beautiful work on it. So besides, you wouldn't want this to be too heavy on you because then who would want to wear something like so heavy like that? Anyways. Okay, the Hustlers are in at 50. Let's sell it. Let's sell Barbara. <laughs> Rem, you change your name all the time anyway, so why not? <laughs> Never give up the design element. All right, we're sold to the Hustlers. Thank you, Hustlers. Very beautiful. Very beautiful necklace. I love it. It's awesome. All right, let's do a plush lot. All right, this guy here. Um, it's a Disney. I don't know. I'm going to pile them up here on the table. Looks like, yeah, it's not supposed to be there. It looks like there's some marker on here. I don't know if that's going to come off, if, if that means it's just damaged. I don't know what would take that off. I don't know if a magic eraser would do that. I don't know if it would if if it would remove um, what's on his antlers. Okay, so there's him. And then I have a Christmas one of those. Oh, huh. that's interesting, Susan. Yeah, it's a pleasure to do that. This is an Elmo, and he's a little bit worn. Let's see if he's... Uh, he looks like he's another one of those peekaboo ones. But he might need batteries. Maybe he's not a peekaboo one. I don't know. But he's he's got some dirt on his nose... And he's got a little bit of a scratched eyeball, which 
you can take care of very easily by just doing that. Okay, I fixed his scratched eyeball. Um, but he looks like he needs batteries. We have one of these little Disney babies here. Let me turn off the light so you can see better. One of the Disney babies wrapped in the Disney baby blanket. Let's start this at 25. You have a little piggy and you have Tigger. Uh oh, there we are. Uh oh, I'm losing my internet a little bit. You see that? There's a little bit of a delay. Yeah, a couple times. Yep, I saw that too. Donna, did you get Gump and Bill registration? He needs a wrench. No, but I will look right now and make sure the application is complete. Um, Gumperville, I just need your zip code. I just need your zip code. So I don't know. It won't let you go back into the, um, won't let you go back into the application, the registration. Um, but if you could fill another one out, sweetheart, and just put your, um, your zip code in there. So we have the correct zip code. All right, hold on. Let me copy it. Can you edit it right there? Yep. Nine three two four five. Yep. Ah. Hold on. I just lost his address. Hold on a second. Let's see if I can get it back. No, Gumpa Bill, I lost your address when I went to edit it. All I have is your zip code now. So please just go in. I'll give you a wrench. Just go in and fill out another one, please. All right, and you have a wrench. Hey, KJ, welcome in. Thanks for being here. Okay. And with this lot, you get this here with the collector's coin. I don't know what this one's name is. Um, it's the official club. And then you get this collector's cards. I didn't know that Beanie Babies had collector's cards. It's unopened. And then you get this one. This one. This one. And another Mabel. So you get two Mabels. And you get an Aaron. And another Aaron. Two Santa babies. This is a tie. Never seen a big fat tie like this. 
There's the... <laughs> it's a tiger. And then you get another glory. You get a Wells Fargo snowflake horse. And that lot. And you get a Disney grumpy with a tag on it. And a Disney Palace Pets. She's cute. She's adorable. And this s'mores girl scout um build a bear with the little girl scout uniform on the hoodie the vest and the skirt and the bear is all girl scouts and that's the lot Did Moni ever come back? I haven't seen her. Moni, are you here? What did Carl say he wanted that other lot if Moni didn't take it? He did not want it. He didn't want it, right. I thought he said if she didn't want it, he wanted it, but maybe I'm wrong. Do you still have your registration pulled up? Oh, um, let's see. He said no dot, dot, dot. Okay, girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I do. Uh, there he says he wants it if she did not. Who said? Carl. Carl just said he would take it if she didn't want it. Oh, I thought he said that. Yeah, I didn't see that the first time. Oh, and then I just saw him write no. And then, Yeah. <laughs> And then he said yes. So, okay. Um, so we never heard from her, so I would just give it to Carl. And okay. Um. No, Gumpa Bill. And there's also another one to look up when you get done with bills. Nickels to dimes. Uh, late boomers. Late bloomers, I have. Late boomers, yeah. Yes, and their and their registration is complete. So late boomers, please uh, make a comment so we can see you. Okay. I got you late bloomers. Here's your wrench. Thank you. I, you have one now. You can make a comment. I just gave it to you just this minute. Helen wants to know how many. Okay, so I'm going to put them away. So you got, you've got the palace pets, number one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten, eleven, and twelve, 
13. Don't forget, this has got the marker on it. 13. The cards, if you want to come from 14. And then 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21. Did I count those? The plastic card ones? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think I did. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 with the cards, and this is 29. I don't think I counted them. You know what I was thinking about while I was gathering up? Um, I, was, I was laying down, and I was on YouTube, and I... Um, I can't remember his name, his YouTube channel, but it came up as a suggested video. Um, so I clicked on it and watched it. His name is Pete. Dominic did a collab with him. He's got that beautiful kind of um, accent. Yeah, Craigslist Hunter. Craigslist Hunter, that's who it is. I couldn't think of his name. I couldn't think of his YouTube name. These two ladies walked into his store and he bought from them like six bags full of Care Bears. I didn't know he dealt in stuffed animals. I was really kind of surprised. Anything he can make a dollar on, he'll buy. Yeah, and he was looking them up. And some of the Care Bears were selling, I mean, he said that they sold, he told the ladies, he said they sell anywhere from 10 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 dollars and up gumpa bill resent it thank you gumpa bill i'm sorry perfect okay i got it thank you so much gumpa bill um yeah and they they were um yeah they were looking up care bears he does like he i guess he sells like all kinds of stuff yeah everything everything even stuffed animals right Hmm. Interesting. Um, let's see. This is a plush lot. And who's buying it? East Coast for 85. Thank you, East Coast. All right. Let me mark this. Wow, oh, Denise says she sold a Care Bear for fifty dollars. Hmm. It was a Care Bear somewhere. I, I don't know if it ended up in somebody's lot. Oh yeah, one of the last lots I I sold had like four Care Bears in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shepa Holly says I have a few Care Bears listed. I know, I know that um, some of the Care Bears uh, can go for quite a bit of money, but I was, I guess, I was just really surprised that Pete was buying them. I'm sure he was going to put them in his eBay store and not. Yeah, um, for sure. Yeah, I've seen him buy a lot of things. He's a smart guy. He, he makes a fair offer on things and. He gets what he can. Sometimes he wins, sometimes he loses. Thank you, East Coast. East Coast, and it's the plush lot. And I got your payment. Thank you for that. Okay. Let me go find something interesting. If you guys have any special requests, let me know.
Okay. <clears throat> I have something a little bit unusual. Let's see if there's any interest. I actually was going to keep these for my own personal house, for my own personal use. But you know what? We don't, I don't do linen closets anymore. We literally have like the sheets on our bed. We take them off. I wash them and I put them right back on. Like years ago I had like, I felt like I always had to have like backup linens. I don't do backup linens anymore. We all just have one set of sheets and when they wear out, I just buy new sheets. So I was going to take these home because these are really high quality sheets. They're king size and they came out of a, um, they came out of a really beautiful home um, in Boca. So you get two pillowcases. Let me put myself on full screen. You don't get two pillowcases. You get four. You get four pillowcases, and you can tell just by the feel of them that they have a really nice high thread count. So you get four pillowcases. What's the uh, start on this? 25. Uh, yeah, 25 because... Um, Sheets are sheets are really expensive. And so you get a flat sheet and a top sheet on this. And I checked them and they don't have any stains and they're really beautiful. And the color is um, an ivory and they're king size. So yeah. That's what I have. They're king, just king. They're king, Susan, but they have really deep pockets. Hi, Jonathan Alfaro. Welcome in. They're king size with really deep pockets. And I probably should have looked to see what name was on them. Christine, were you here when I was folding these or was it Dolores? I think it may have been Dolores. I don't know what the name is on them. I didn't, I don't remember looking. Hi, Christina. You're out the wrong size. They're king. No, not me. Okay, it must have been Dolores. Four pillowcases, a top sheet, and a bottom sheet. Hi, Elizabeth. Welcome in. Marilyn is at 25. All right, if we're done, let's call it. Oh, Christine, awesome, honey. Kick back and relax, honey. And just enjoy yourself. Okay, Marilyn, it's up to you. I have another set. This is more of like a, um, what color would I call this? This is kind of like a pale yellow, but this set only has two king size pillowcases, one and two. If you want two sets, a crew, no, is it a crew? It's kind of like a, like a yellowish color, like a tan, like a tan. Yeah, like it's a tan, I would call it tan. Yes, I'll take them. All right, honey, so $50 for two sets of sheets, Marilyn. 
You scored, honey. That's awesome. Great deal. <laughs> Elizabeth. It is a great deal. And they're really nice sheets. I was going to take them home. I said I was going to take them home. Marilyn, do you have a gift certificate? I don't remember. Can you write yes or no in the chat? It just saves me to go look because I can't remember. Yeah, it is, Cal. It's a really great buy. Let me know, Marilyn. Okay, thank you, Marilyn. It would help me, you guys, except for someone like Carl Bach, who owns half my bathroom, and Kyle Elliott. <clears throat> it would help me when you buy something if you have a gift certificate with me, so that way I can write it right on my paper, and it saves me from having to go look it up. Um, on my sheets. It's just one less step that I have to worry about if I just write it when I'm making the sale. I think from now on we'll just do it that way because it's a lot of work keeping track. You understand? It's like a whole other process that I have to that I have to include in my invoicing and shipping day is keeping track and deducting and all of that. Several said they want a dibble box. Okay, I'm gonna put this junk drawer here and it's, it's really like a lot of jewelry making things. There's pins in here. It's just really, I mean, some stuff is good stuff. Some stuff is for there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff in here. This is a um, jewelry maker's dream come true here with all this stuff. There's all kinds of cords in here. Um, some pieces are, you know, sellable. Start at 25. Sure. Some pieces are really beautiful. They just might be missing a rhinestone. Oh, uh, thanks, Carl. Look at all of this. Like you could, you know, take pieces and make your own custom pieces, and you've got look at all this. Look at all these quartz. Someone could sit at a table and just look at all those stones. And have a ball with this. And just make stuff. That says Neiman Marcus on it. What is that? A pin? Oh, it's a picture frame. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's got a clip and it's got a stand. Oh, I think it's like, I think it's a little, it's like a little picture frame. See, it's got the little stand. So you can put a little tiny picture on it or I guess you could clip it.
All right. What is that? Maybe to put a picture in there. It's like a, it's like a beautiful glass, but oh my god, it almost has like a fluorescent look about it. You see that? Is it a magnifier? Oh, it's a magnifier. It is. Look, it's a magnifier. Yeah, so this is one of those magnifying. Um, oh, it's on it's on this like big huge bezel thing. Anyways, you guys look through it. Whoever wins it, it's just the bottom of the barrel stuff. Hi, Jim G. Welcome in. Ronnie, did I just say hi to you? Sorry, I'm a little bit out of it tonight. I'm going to get myself some more water while they uh, bit on this and see if I can go find... a dibble box that I can show them.
Craig. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. I've got purses to pass out. You must have bought these purses for gifts. That's so sweet of them. He didn't buy that one. He's a night owl? I would have thought he would be, but I guess not. There's Autumn Grace. She's in. Miss Martha? Hello, Miss Martha. Hello, sweetheart. The sound of silence is more peaceful. Okay, let me gather this all up. And move it. It was a junk draw jewelry drop jar, jar uh, not jar, a <laughs> drawer. <laughs> okay. Let me write down who got that and I'll put something else on the table. Who got it, Shriker? Uh, Heather MG for $50. Congratulations, Heather. That was lot number seven. That's correct. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, you guys, I'm moving a little bit slow tonight. All right, let's see what we got here. Where's the one that goes on this? All right, let's see what we got. So this is a little Christmas tree and it says made in China on the bottom. So I don't think that those would be considered vintage. This one is definitely vintage and it says on it, Product of Japan, and it's Paul Mar. Let me see. I don't know where it starts. M. It's P A R M A R, I guess. And it's Abraham Lincoln with Illinois. And then there's these cute little glass booty salt and pepper shakers. Let's take a look at these. these are two really cool Indians. Let me see what it says in the bottom. It says CB on the bottom and it looks like um, it looks like it's made in Japan, but the um, the stickers like almost peeled off, and it's a man and a woman. So 
those are cute. Do you remember a user by the name of Good Buys? They say they haven't been here for a year, but they still have a wrench. Um, let's see if we have a registration for them. So some of the early ones we used to wrench before we started the form. Good buys. Nope. I don't have a registration. If you could drop the link, they need to fill out a registration. And when you have the registration filled out, please let me know and I'll give you a wrench. Okay, this one is Web Pewter 1125. And you have a, it's a pair. And an apple. And it says web pewter without the corks. These are 59 cents. They're two little corns on the cob. Here is, this one says on it, let me look. Um, it looks like H. Pony. It looks like it says H Pony on it. And it's definitely old. And there's that moon and that moon. So there's two moons. And okay, here's the little basket. And there's no sticker on it. And it says made in Japan. And there's carrots and asparagus. Does that go in there? Yeah. And next we have these. And they're made in China. It just says home on them. And they're two Santas. This one's full of salt. <laughs> and then we have these cows. Let's see what these say. Super sticker. Oh, back from outer space. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Wow, that is so generous of you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. These cow ones are actually really nice with the sunflowers. People love sunflowers and people love cows. These are nice size salt and pepper shakers. And let it snow on those. This one's missing the cork. These are heavy. This one, these are definitely vintage, but they're missing their stickers. It's, um, it's a wagon and two cows. Hey, Kyle. Thank you, Susan. That's a cute little set. And then finally, these are Pier 1. These elephants are Pier 1. There's one. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Mama J. Thank you, Rim. And there's two. And that's the whole set. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 
12, 13, I guess. Do the ones with the cows have a name on the bottom? No, but they're definitely vintage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of them. There's thirteen total. Mr. Tasman, welcome in. You guys, please don't forget to give a thumbs up. I had 11 jerks come by and give thumbs down. They look like Mackenzie Child. These look like Mackenzie Child. Mm -hmm. I agree. They do look like Mackenzie Child. I know Mackenzie Child. They make beautiful things. I think these are my favorite. The Indians. The pewter are really awesome too. Dawn. Oh, is he? Um, I don't, I don't remember goodbyes. Um, Jim, I think you just press the little X where the next to the chat and then you'll see, you should see the thumbs. East coast is at 60. Carl is out. Thank you, Carl. Don, I got your message, your email. I really don't know, to be honest with you. I read it, but I didn't respond. I just was breezing through my emails this morning. Thanks, Mama G.
no idea what's in this case. We're going to look at this together. Okay, that must have gone to East Coast. East Coast for $60. Thank you, East Coast. Oh, that was um, Jim. That was East Coast. East Coast um, likes to pay um, through some people like prefer not to use PayPal. So <clears throat> for their own personal reasons. So we make exceptions. Carl wants to see your next slot. Buy it for $20 sight unseen. Oh, sight unseen. <laughs> He's crazy. Yeah. I don't even know what's in here, Carl. I ha we're going to look at this together. Look, this is what's in here. You probably don't even want it. Let's look and see. I have no idea. Oh, I have no idea. Let's look. Um, so it looks like they're mostly just cards. cards. This is a nice lot for anybody who likes to send cards via mail. Look at this. You get all of these cards. Oh, this is some scrap. All right. We got to look and see what's in here. I'm looking at it for the first time with you. Okay. They, they're made. So this one's happy birthday. They're made cards. This one's thank you. Elegant fan. I don't know. I'll include that in. I have no idea. Thank you. Thank you. So there, it looks like the whole box is just greeting cards, like made. Maybe there were like samples, sample greeting cards. Yeah, so it's like they come with this and then inside here, but I don't see any envelopes. I just see cards. So they must have been like sample cards maybe that you can make. I mean, they're beautiful, but where's the envelopes? Look how pretty. Oh, took a piece of paper. Oh, and there's the card. Oh, look at that, how clever that is. The card is right there. And then I suppose you could mail that, right? If you put a little. I don't know. You never have to buy another greeting card the rest of your life if you buy this lot. <laughs> there is a shit ton of beautiful greeting cards. Let's see if we have any envelopes. Christ Christine B says she put it together. Oh, you did, Christine? There's some envelopes. Christine, is there envelopes in here? <laughs> yeah, there's some envelopes in here. It's nice. Look at this. I hope there's another box like this. Is there another box like this? My kids, my kids, like, they, they know better. Like, I don't let them buy cards anymore because greeting cards, forget greeting cards that look like this. You can't even touch them in the stores. They're like six, seven dollars. Look at how beautiful this is. Yeah, so these must have been like samples. That's beautiful. Look at that one. There's another beautiful one. 
it's all like three dimensional and sparkly and that's all raised. Yeah, so this is like a greeting card, more thank you ones. This is a greeting card uh, heaven here for someone. Yeah, so it's the whole entire box is just full of greeting cards. All these wonderful greeting cards. They're beautiful, you guys. They're so well made. What's that? Uh, what's that nice store? Papyrus. Pa pa uh, pi papyrus. Papyrus. I can't. They have them in the mall, and the cards are like twelve dollars. I don't even know if they're still in business. We used to go in there and look at the cards and be like, "Oh my God, look at this one! Look at this one!" That's what this is reminding me of. All of the beautiful, gorgeous. Seasons greetings, thank yous, happy birthdays. Look at this one with the ladybug. How stinking cute is that one? It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. They really are. This one with the musical note. People are going to start sending more greeting cards. So pretty. I love them all. Each one is prettier than the other. They're awesome. And if you scrapbook, look at the work is all done. You could put that in a scrapbook and then put the happy birthday pictures around it if you developed them like um, in black and white. How pretty. Look at this one with the cherries. I don't know if you can see the quality of them, how beautiful quality is. Season's greetings. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice lot. I love this lot. This is an awesome lot, Christine. You did good, honey. I didn't even know you made this. It's beautiful. This one's beautiful, too. That one with those pretty bows at the top. I love that one. That is so beautiful. You see how pretty the bow work is on that? Very beautiful. And they're all different. There's no two alike. Birthday blessings. Birthday blessings again. Yeah. And there's still a lot more in here. Here's another really cute one. I guess you have to untie that to open up. So pretty. I love the one with the cherries. Oh, how cute. Three little dangly. Okay. Well, it's a beautiful lot. It's really nice. Maybe I have to buy another greeting card or if you're a scrapbooker, this is an awesome lot because you can use all of this for templates for your scrapbooking. All the work is done for you. If you have a large family and you sent greeting cards.
All right. They were nice and neat. I didn't put them in neat, but they'll get shipped out nice and neat, promise. Okay, let's see who's got it. Fair warning. Carl gets it for 85. Carl came in. Yeah, and Marilyn tried to come back in just a hair late. Oh, Marilyn, I'm sorry. Carl, thank you. All right, cards go to Carl. Lot number nine, $85, $611. Carl, you're going to love these, Marilyn. I'm sorry, but these are great. What a nice lot this is. All okay. Let's do this. I just dropped him. I'm going to look at these in one second.
good lord. Okay. That's all of them. <laughs> I dropped them all over the floor. They spilt. Okay. So they are all sorts of keychains. Pocketbook holders. Pocketbook holder again. This one says Gold Coast. Is that Australia? This one is a whistle with a thermometer on it and a compass. And it's a Brookstone. How about we start this at... Oh, this is a pocketbook tag. This will sell. Somebody who has this pocketbook. Look at That's a keychain. Um, what in the world? Where's Elizabeth? Look at this. This is, I think, real fur. It feels like it. You know those Chinese... Um, this looks like it's a real cat's head that's been cut off. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Where's Elizabeth? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, let's see. What is this? Win as, win as one united. The luggage tag. Little magnifying glass with a screw kit, maybe for glasses. A gator's lanyard. This will sell. This will sell in a minute. My daughter paid so much money for a lanyard for her boyfriend for Christmas. I couldn't believe it. I don't even know what it said on it. These are real fur. This is not fake fur. I don't know what kind of fur this is, but they feel real. And I don't know what this is. What is that? What are, you, what are you putting there? Uh, just a luggage tag or a key tag or something. I don't know what you're putting there. I have no idea. This feels like leather. So it's kind of a treasure hunt of... It's a light and it works. Cr Criminal Justice, Stephen, Austin State University, Department of Criminal Justice. New baby. No idea. Little bomb with a lighter in it. Doesn't work. Or well, the lighter doesn't work. What does this say on it? I don't know. Moonstones? Some sort of moonstone? Butterfly? So this is great for people that like to... Oh, this is... This is glass. This is beautiful. That's glass right there. I wonder if it's crystal. I wonder if there's a name on it. Let me see. I was just picking up my glass to look instead of my eyeball. Oh, I just broke it. I just broke it. Well, I didn't really break it. You could probably just put a little dab of super glue on it, but it's beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Can you see how pretty that is? It's got all different colors in it. Definitely looks like crystal. Let me wrap that separately. Touching lives, lifting spirits. Okay. So the rest will be a mystery. It's just a whole bunch of, oh, you know what this is? They came out with these when COVID came out so that you don't have to like open 
like you use this like to open doors, like you hook this on a door so you don't have to touch like door handles. You use it as a pusher and you use it as a puller. Wow, I never saw one. Yeah, that's what that is. No, it's not a bottle opener, Carl. It's a COVID thing. It is, it's a COVID thing. That thing's gonna be collectible. What is this? I'm gonna look at this closer. It says, <gasps> Donald Trump. It's Donald Trump. What is it though? Hold on. It's just a keychain, isn't it? I don't know. This thing looks funny at the top. Yeah, it's a it's glass, you guys. It's a Donald Trump glass keychain. It's not plastic. Somebody's going to pay a lot of money for that. I'm telling you. I know there's probably Trump haters in there, in here, but who's in that? Oh, my God. Yes, Susan. It's Donald Trump. Lisa says, yes, it's a COVID thing. Yeah, it's a COVID thing. Where is it? I don't know what happened to it. What's this? Oh, it's another... Um, it's another Tangelo keychain. I don't know what I did with that. Oh, Sam Adams. That's what my husband likes to drink. <laughs> do, you, do you see Carl's? <laughs> no. He, he just wants the cat head. <laughs> <laughs> and he wants to make it talk. Carl? Yeah. Elizabeth must have left because she would have been out of her mind. Oh, <laughs> I think she's been leaving signals all over. Oh, Mara, honey, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart. It's been a tough day, honey. It's been a really tough day. But I wanted to come on with my friends. Oh, here's another one, Carl. Carl, you can get two... You could get two cat heads for $75. <laughs> Elizabeth left. Oh, she's here. Elizabeth, look, it's a real cat head. And I think it's real fur. I don't think this is fake. I think it's real. Called a clean keychain. Carl's like, oh my God, I'm going to get two cat heads. Yeah, there's two of them. Where's that key? Where is that? I wanted to show it to Carl again. Well, here it is. Here it is. So yeah, so you pull doors, you, you pull the handle, or you use the tip to push doors. <laughs> this is gonna be collectible, you guys. <laughs> That's someone's gonna be someone's gonna like in 10 years, they're gonna be like, hi Janine, hi sweetheart. People are gonna be like, remember those keychain things? I don't know. All right, I'm going to wrap this and I'm going to wrap this in some tissue right out of the gate so that they'll stay protected and don't get scratched because they're in really good shape. It's also for pushing the buttons at the ATM, Beetle Girl says. Hmm. Yeah, Mara, it was a tough day. I spent most of the day just uh, reflecting. Reflecting on my day from nine years ago. It's hard not to do that watching the clock and thinking where I was nine years ago today at that time. I 
But I gotta be careful to talk about my heavenly child. There's some haters out there. There's a special place for them. And it's not there. Kind of got bullied last night. Oh, this is a beautiful lanyard. Look at that. Very pretty. It's got that pave on it. I love it. Oh, and here's one of those, um, you know, badge things. I don't know what that says. I can't read it. All right, Carl won it. Carl for 75. Lot 10. Lot 10 to Carl for 75. Carl's spending all his money tonight. He's like afraid I'm going to take off with his money. I doubt that. I doubt that too. I was joking when I said I was going to quit. YouTube. I can't quit YouTube. It's how I make my living. I did say it to T again this morning, though. I said, maybe I'll just do buy it nows from now on. That way people don't have the chance to be so judgmental and assholes. Sorry. Did Courtney leave? Yeah, I haven't seen her for a while. <laughs> Donna, if my Brittany was still alive. Donna, if my Brittany was still here, I would have paid you whatever you wanted for those keychains. She collected them all. I think I won a lot Thursday, but have not received an invoice or do I remember the lot? Yeah, Montana Force, you, you did win a lot Thursday. Um, yesterday was Friday, right? Yesterday we didn't ship. Yesterday we shipped a bunch of packages, but I didn't invoice yesterday. I didn't do any invoicing. So I'll probably invoice tomorrow for, um, for Thursday and today's Friday, right? Yeah, for Thursday and Friday. Today's Friday, yeah. So they said they won Thursday? Was that was yesterday? I'm so confused. Yeah, he said Thursday, but it may have been last Thursday. I don't know. We'd have to look and see. Oh, last Thursday? Oh, yeah, we'll look. We'll look and see. I have everything written down, and so does Shriker, so we'll, we'll find it. Don't worry. Okay, let's, um, how about we let them, I know them. You still have some Beanie Babies, don't you? What's that? You still have some ties. Hi, Evil Lenny. Yes, I have that too, honey. I haven't, I haven't invoiced you for that either. Um, do you want to offer up that deal with the ties? Should I show some? Yeah. Do you sure. want to offer up the deal? Yeah. You guys, I did a deal the other night. I was going to show some for sale, but if they want a mystery lot of the ties, I did. Help me remember, Shriker, because my head's a little bit foggy right now. 45, 45. 45 of them for $50. Bedtime in a minute for you. Do you want to see Pokemon cards before you go to bed? I was going to show some 45s and I have a craft lot. 
But if you want to go to bed, Carl, you know I'll be back tomorrow. So Heather MC wants to do the, the deal. Okay, so lot number 11 is going to be 45 Mystery Beanie Babies. Heather MC for $50. We need room for purses. Susan, I have I can't get to the purses. I don't even know what I have left in purses. Do you want me to take you into the box so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about? I'll do it again because I did it the other day. Right, Shriker? You see what I'm up against back there? We're still working on the front part of the cottage. I know it's been a month. I know I've been here a month, but it is a lot of work, you guys. Because we do it like between the shipping and hi, Keisha's creations. Keisha, I think I still have you down for a hundred dollar mystery lot of arts and crafts that I didn't invoice you for. You can let me know if you're still interested in that. Um, KJ says, see, I did it again. Okay, anybody else with the Beanie Babies, let me know. You get 45 of them for $50. Some are multiples. What have you been doing with all your time is what I need to know, Susan. <laughs> Susan, you know I don't stop. Sandra said yes. What is Sandra saying yes? Okay, Keisha, I'll invoice you for that, and I'll put one together for you. And Susan, I know I owe you one, and I also owe Miss Martha one. Sourcing from Bolo Buddies is still here. She does that, you know. She listens in the background. She doesn't say anything, and she just listens. And then she'll say to me the next day, oh, Donna, Donna, Donna. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> this is going to be a... It's not going to be a drop and stop. I'm going to go, let them go ahead and bid on it. Um, these, This is a slice cartridge um, for the slice machine. So this can be a reseller lot, or if you have crafting stuff to do this, to use that kind of machine, that's your heart, then you have it. Thank you so much. Oh, um, nothing, Wanda. Nothing really. <laughs> Show the room, Sandra says. I know I'm waiting to do a tour. I'm waiting to get a little bit. Oh, here. This one is um, Spookin' Alley. And I guess it gives you all of these die cuts. This is the cartridge for this machine slice. This one is music and dance. And for a reseller, all you have to do is, there you go. I don't have to tell you guys. You know, you're all resellers. Okay. Then you get flashy foils for beginners. And it looks like it's a pattern book that you can cut things out. You get that one. This Southwest. This one says West. Crafts ends. Crafts wares. These are all magazines and they appear to be brand new. And this one is called liquid beads when there's patterns in them. Okay. So you get that. Um, here's another liquid beads and it's called dress up. This one's called tuxedo time. This one's called wearable crafts. And this one is also wearable crafts. So you get all of those magazines with this lot. Um, oh, there's a decorating magazine also. One of my friends who's a um, eBay seller has changed his selling to selling only magazines He's gotten away from clothes. He says he's doing really good with just magazines. Here's some Southwestern shiny foil LeMay appliques. I don't know if that's something that's trending or what, you guys, but 
Okay, here's some note cards and envelopes. You get one, two, three, four, and five. Here's some more thank yous, some more note cards and envelopes. And this is a Cuddle Kids. I don't know what that is. Puppy Love for Mirror. I have no idea. Cuddle Kids. Oh, it must be like a machine. No, Heather, I'm just going to let you guys bid on it. You can start the bidding at 25. Here is <clears throat> another slice. Family, it's called. And here's a Happy Trails slice. No idea what that is. No idea what this is either. I just throw it in. These must be like scratch off words for uh, for crafting. Button back. Where's Elizabeth? Elizabeth, are you in the chat? Elizabeth, are you still here? Tracker, I see you laughing in the background. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Elizabeth, oh, there she is. Elizabeth, I'm just checking to make sure that you're still here. And let me know if you want to see my cat. And his favorite toys. Because sometimes they could be sunbathing or window gazing. <laughs> Cute sayings. Okay. Um, don't want that. What is this? What is this? I have no idea. It's it's a cassette. It's a merry. It's a cassette thing, and I don't know what's on here. I don't know if there's anything on there. And then there's like little glitter things in here, little cutouts. And then this says, wishing you a special, wishing you the special gifts of Christmas, peace and love. So it just, must, it must be like a sample idea of like covering, hold on, let me just put this back. Covering a CD and then doing the inside of it and sending it as a gift. It's kind of cute. It's very cute with the ribbon and paper. Okay. All right. Um, here's some white luster note card. Here's some more. I don't know why it has those hole punches. 25 triple circle mini window cards. No idea. And this is pretty random, but it was in here. The Metropolitan Museum of Art Roses playing cards, two decks. And one is open and one is not. That's going in there. And here is... Um, 50 note card envelopes, some more envelopes. Here are three more of those Cuddle Kids cutters. Here is some Magic Dust. Stitch it. You stay away from this. No, it's sealed. It's sealed. I don't have to worry about it. Is Stitch it in the chat tonight? I don't know if I've seen Stitch it. I think I saw her early. I don't think we did at all. 
You don't think so? No. Stitch, stitch it's always here. There's a stamp. Another stamp. Another couple of stamps. Jules, I always have plush, honey. Here's another couple of stamps. And I'll be back on tomorrow. I come on every day. So make sure that you hit the bell notification. I don't know what time. After I do some invoicing and some shipping, I'll be on. There's another one. There's some little ones. And then what are these? They're little paper clips in the shape of little bones. All right. And then some wild card. I don't know what that is either. That's it. That's the whole lot. That's everything in the lot. Thanks, Jules. Thank you, Keisha. Thank you, honey. Appreciate it. So you get the four slice cassette machine things. Bunch of stamps. All these magazines with the templates in them. If you're a reseller, I bet, I mean, they sold in their time $4.99, and the stuff has been in a storage unit for like 20 years. So, I don't know. Some things increase in value, some things decrease in value. So, You know, I have no idea. I don't look things up. And that's all of it. Nice big bucket full. This was the thing that I pulled out. It looks like tissue and gloves. I don't know. It was pretty random in there. So, all right. So I guess I need to write down. I'm going to give Moni Love left. So Carl's going to double his order on the on the glasses. Two sets. Nora comes in at 70. Thank you, Nora. Mara, did I see on Facebook that you just had a birthday? Hi, Jim Bennett. Heather's out. Nora wants it for eighty for seventy. You did, right? I thought I saw that on Facebook. Happy birthday, honey. I hope you had a, a nice birthday. 
I don't go on Facebook hardly ever anymore. You probably know that. You probably don't see any posts. I used to be on there all the time. Now I'm on YouTube all the time. One social media at a time. So tea, so I started to give you guys an update on tea. Oh, thank you, Don. Thank you so much. So T got a really late start and she had to like drive through the Bronx at like 345 in the afternoon. And then she realized she forgot her phone at home and they're driving two big trucks. Her husband's driving a 27 foot truck and she's driving, I think a 16 and they had to turn, she had to turn around. Her husband went to go get gas. She had to turn around and go back home. And then she got caught in like rush hour traffic. And I, I hope that she's sound asleep now. She had her stress test today at the doctor's and she's she's going through it you guys she's really really going through it <clears throat> i feel so bad for her i do because i know i know what she's going through okay so this is a craft lot to nora a for 70. <clears throat> i know right mara they were trying to leave earlier, but thanks, Ronnie. Love you too, honey. I miss I miss our chats. I know you've been really busy getting your stuff done. Okay. So you want a blind bid on this, you guys? I'll show you some of the titles that I have. We'll do it at 25. I'll show you some titles for 45 records. I have no idea. Oh, thank you, Serenity. You're so sweet. <coughs> she knew it was going to be a lot, Joy. She knew. But she's got it. She's like got to get on this weekend. She said to me that she was going to try to come on with me Saturday and Sunday because. You know, she's the breadwinner in the house, too. And she hasn't sold anything for two weeks. It's a huge move. And guess what? She wasn't able to fit everything in the two trucks. So she's got to go back again. With another, she's got to do another truck load. Poor thing. All right, let me show you what some of these records are. I'm going to do um, this orientation, and this is this is how many are in there. Let's let's take a look at and see what we have in some of the covered cover ones. I have no idea where these came from. This one is three coins in a fountain, the four aces. Um, Malcolm Locker on the waterfront. This one is uh, Julio Inglesis and Willie Nelson. Do this as a $25 start. This one is Blondie. This one is Julio and Diana Ross. Ooh, look at how seductive that picture is. This one is Domenico Mondragon. I can't pronounce that. This one is Alabama, the closer you get. This one is all the girls I loved before. Oh, is that what it was? Um, putting on the Ritz and the Pointer Sisters and Miami Sound Machine. And I can't read it. The writing is so small. My eyeball. 
the normal first and second heart sound psychological splitting upon it's a consultation cardiologist narrator it's like a doctor thing i think you guys i, I have no idea did we uh check on julie's fab finds yesterday i don't remember um hi little k um check her registration julie's fat yeah I, she's she has a wrench, right? She's she's registered. I don't recall. I um, know we've talked to her several times. Yeah, let me just check and make sure. I am almost positive. I can't always remember everyone. T is so good about remembering each one. Yeah, she really is. Yeah, she says she filled out the form. Okay. Yes, I have you. I have you, honey. Okay. This is another one. I don't know. I don't know if there's a market for these. I have no idea. It's like it's like they're medical ones. And there's a whole series of them. <coughs> weird right there's a whole series of them i don't know if they have a date on them i guess they're narrated heart sounds interpreting heart sounds oh i'd be interested in hearing that <laughs> all right and then we have a mystery book oh it's my first communion catechism How'd that get in there? Judy Mayberry. Oh, it's really cute. It's got the Hail Mary. It's got the sign of the cross, the Lord's Prayer. I should probably do this separately. In a, um, <clears throat> I'll probably do this separately in like a, a dibble, like a vintage dibble lot. Okay, so... There's a whole stack of these. If you guys want to look them up, I don't know if they have resale value, but feel free if you want to. I have no idea, but there's there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven of these, um, eleven of these. Yeah, why don't you hold on for a second? Are we getting trolls? I don't know yet. Michelle Petty's. Yeah, these are all names. Okay, no spickings sent them supposedly. So very nice. Wow. Ooh. From where? Look at you guys. Welcome in. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, nose picking. Thank you, nose picking. Where did he go get all those friends? Prepping 101. How nice is it to have a bunch of people that are just coming in with hearts? Right. It's a love raid. No way. Oh my God, I'm having a love raid. Oh my gosh. I've never even heard of a love raid. Well, that sure is nice compared to the other way. Oh my God. Mwah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Nose picking. What are you doing? Oh my God. You guys are going to make me cry again. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Are you kidding? You guys are awesome. Oh my gosh, you made my day. It's a love raid. I've never even heard of that. Holy cow. 
Thank you guys. Thank you for coming. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is the nicest thing anyone could ever do. Thank you guys. Look at that. Nose picking, you're amazing. Wow. Very nice. That is the nicest gift anyone could ever give me. Little Martin's Nest, thank you so much for the super chat, honey. I saw it. I was just overwhelmed with what was going on in the chat. Holy cow. 111 people in the chat. I don't think that's ever happened anywhere. I've never seen anything like this happen. It started at 11.11, did it, Anthony? Wow. Where did he go get all these friends? I wonder where they came from. He dropped the link earlier. He he mods for uh, another channel. Prepper 101, I think he said. Oh, nose picking. It's a lot, honey. It's a lot of friends. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, they did. Serenity. Thank you, Mr. Turtle Trader. Oh, Cat D, look at how pretty with all the flowers. We're always on every night at 6 p.m. Pacific. You guys go return the favor. I have to go return the favor. What a unbelievably sweet gesture. Please don't forget the thumbs up on the way out the door, please. Counteract the bad ones. <coughs> Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Cindy. Be happy. I love your YouTube name. It's really cool. Good things to good people. Remember that. Thank you, Sandy. Oh, unbelievable. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, Blake, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. That was so nice of you. You don't have to do that. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you. That was so generous. Thank you so much. Really right, Frank. Hi, Jean-Pierre. Great, Mara. Mara, I hope you're doing well, honey. I can't believe it. A love raid. When I looked over and I saw all the names I didn't recognize, right, Traeger, I was like, oh. Because I'm like, I think from what people have said, I'm like the only one that have, I haven't gotten, like, trolled like all the other channels have. I'm like, oh, it's my turn. I've seen a lot of names I didn't know, but none of them were bad that I could see. I know, right? Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you for going over there. 
All right, Nose Pickens calling him back. Nose Pickens, thank you. Mwah. Thank you so much. That was great. That was awesome. I've never seen anything like that happen before. Thanks, Nose Pickens. I needed to smile, honey. I know, right, Keisha? They're, they're being recalled. <laughs> Go back to your channels. <laughs> Come back here another time. It was beautiful, Tammy. It was beautiful. No speaking, post the link, honey. Post the link so everybody can go over and sub or copy it and paste it and go over and sub. Thanks, Grinning Owl. You better go nose picking is calling you. Don't want you to get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Blake, thank you so much for the super chat. That was really nice of you. I have 159 thumbs up. Do I really? Wow, I do. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> Nose picking is still calling them. I mean, this is a pretty common occurrence on uh, Twitch. You know, at the end of a stream, they would send everybody to another channel, but you don't ever see this on YouTube at all. Thank you, Tammy, for subbing. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. That was the nicest thing ever. <coughs> hey Todd, how are you sweetheart? So sweet. Hi, Brad. Oh, little K. Another super chat, honey. Thank you so much for your generosity. Thank you, sweetheart. You are so sweet. I appreciate you so much. Blue Fairy, thank you for being here. Nose pickings like back to business. Thank you so much. Wow, 163 thumbs up. Isn't that amazing? Beetlebug, hey, welcome in. You guys are amazing. Yeah, your subs went up a little bit too. Did they? So That's when you when you see my subs, do you see the actual numbers? Well, it's rounded 3.95. So I don't, it could be 50 or it could be 59. We, we can't see that much. Right, Cindy? They almost got me to 4K, right? No, oh, Tammy says it's even higher, 3.97. Here, let me look. <clears throat> that would be awesome. What a nice gift. Yeah, that was such a nice gift. Yeah, oh my gosh. I'm at um, 3970, 3979. 21 to go. Yep. Only 21 to go. Awesome nose picking. You're unbelievable. Thank you so much. I really needed that. Oh, Carol Ann, thank you, sweet. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for the $2 super chat. 
Is it gel? I'll have to go over and check it. I know, Susan, you're absolutely right. Surround ourselves with more nice people. Instead of people that tear, tear people down. Yeah, it's really close, Don. Well, that's the old number, Don. He hasn't refreshed the page. I know, Shelly. We do all need that love. I know, Keisha, right? It was so nice of nose picking to do that. What kind of channel is it that he mods for? What do they do on that channel? I haven't been over there. Looks like a prepping channel. A what? Preppers. Prepping. What's prepping? Um, preparing for difficult times, end of the world type things. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. I'd be very interested in, in watching that. You know, just being prepared for whatever happens. Is it like a political channel? Not so much. I wouldn't think as far as preppers go. They want to be prepared for any situation, you know? Kind of like um, Civil War, not Civil War. Um, uh, what's it called when, um, what's it called when um, like the, like people have to form their own army um Alicia, but you can't really tie them together i mean not mal not not what, what did you say it was called militia ma you're you're talking about a militia no not militia um oh god what's the word it's um my brother said it to me one time a long time ago something law cardinal law or martial law Martial law. Mm -hmm. Martial law. Isn't it martial law like when the when you have to like people have to like protect themselves? No, that's when uh, the government sets rules in place that you know you can't go out past a certain curfews and you know stuff like that. Oh, okay. Maybe that's, yeah. Maybe that's not the word I'm looking for. No, that's not what you're looking for. No, there was another word. I can't remember survivalist i'm not sure i can't remember now they're just a group of people that want to be prepared for all situations you know i'm not a prepper i already have all the stuff <clears throat> so should we have an auction i don't think so okay no it's a prepping community yeah no we did we did 12 lots that's good okay i'll do some shipping tomorrow and all right you know, i i wasn't over this so i don't know exactly what they're doing that's just prepping there's lots of variations Thanks, Amy. Yeah, it was a tr pretty traumatic day for me. I did find my birthday bear. I have it. The only thing I'm missing is my scale and my, my ring sizer. Can't find it anywhere, but we still have some boxes that we need to go through. But yeah, I have my birthday hat and I have my birthday bear. I really enjoy doing that, singing happy birthday to you guys when your birthdays came around. So hopefully she and I can go back to doing that. So tomorrow is Saturday morning and T's going to be driving. So we probably won't have coffee 
tomorrow morning. She'll definitely be driving. She's pulling over tonight and driving. But Sunday morning, we'll probably have coffee on her channel. So she can give you guys all an update on what's going on. Hopefully she'll be set up. I don't even know if she brought her computer with her. Tonight we are just being silly. On Friday night, we prep for family extra insurance. My channel is prepping and why to? I grew up on a farm and we prep in case of power outages or job losses. That's awesome, Lake. That's so great to be prepared. Donna, you are a form of a prepper. You build a family and make people smile in dark times. Frank, you're so sweet for saying that. Thank you so much. You guys, I've had so many nice messages today from you guys saying to me how, um, how you look forward to me coming on and that I've added so much joy to your life and... I honestly, like, didn't think of myself that way. And you guys writing those words to me were just amazing to read. I couldn't even respond to a lot of them. I just sent back a heart or... Is it Sandy's birthday? Montana Force is one of our customers. Susan. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I know somebody out, but I'm sure it was just accidental. It happens. Is it Sandy's birthday? Uh, it should be real soon here. Because I see people saying happy birthday to her. Okay, it must. It should be today. She gets her new uh, duty today then. Oh, she gets to open up her purse. Nose picking says you're stuck with me now. Happy birthday, Sandy Kirk. Sandy, happy birthday. How do you like that purse? Nice and green. Serenity, thank you so much, sweetheart. Yes, after midnight. And it's after midnight. Awesome, Sandy. Happy birthday. I hope you have a great day tomorrow, today, but when you wake up. Tomorrow morning, she'll wake up. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, you guys, so I'm going to turn in. Thank you, everyone that bought something. Appreciate you so very much. Are you going to put on the lamp tonight? Um, or too much work? I probably could put it on. I'll try to fix it a little bit better. Last night it was so far away, you really couldn't even see it. It was okay. The, the glitter one's always nice. Yeah, I've got the glitter one right here. Maybe I'll turn it on. I'll put it on. It's just nice to be able to go to sleep with our friends saying goodnight. <clears throat> Thanks, Susan. Yeah, you guys, you can come on over to Lava Lamp Live if you want to. I'll set her up. And she'll run all night long. So, good night. You guys, if I don't see you over at Love and Lamp, sweet dreams. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it. Shriker, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye, you guys. We'll see you.